We already know that CNN is a dem of Democrat Party operatives and left-wing activists, but it still boggles my mind to watch them continue to obliterate any sense of journalistic integrity. Not only do they put the unhinged brother of a Democrat Party political family as one of their flagship anchors, but they also get him to interview his brother, the governor of New York. Both men hate Trump and are fiercely partisan. What exactly are we supposed to get out of this absolute farce of an interview? But you're a great interviewer by the way. Appreciate it. Learn from the best. The point is this. Okay. What do you think Thank of you. him trying to... Ugh. It would be hilarious if not so nauseating. What's the point of this interview? To bash Trump and paint Andrew Cuomo as though he's the one that's actually presidential? Of course we're not going to get a critical look of the job Andrew Cuomo has done in New York from the media, much less his brother. They'll never judge him by the standards that they judge Trump by, not even if he was president. For fuck's sake, they're giving Trump shit for telling the country that this would all end at some point and we would get through it. What do you say to Americans who are upset with you over the way you downplayed this crisis over the last couple of months? It's going to disappear. It's like a miracle. It will disappear. March 4th, uh, we have a very small number of people in this country infected. March 10th, we're prepared. We're doing a great job with it. It will go away. Just stay calm. It will go away. Meanwhile, where's the questions about how underprepared New York was for this virus outbreak under Andrew Cuomo's leadership? Why don't they have the ventilators that they supposedly need? It's definitely not Trump's fault. A study commissioned in 2015 by the New York State Task Force on Life and the Law and the New York State Department of Health that found New York would have a shortage of ventilators in the event of a severe influenza pandemic. Andrew Cuomo did nothing. Trump called him out on it. And what do you know? The media circles their wagons around Andrew Cuomo. Sorry to interrupt, but I have an important message for all my viewers. We are facing a global pandemic. Numerous cities around the world are now under a state of emergency. Prepper's Peak is offering a virus safety bundle that comes equipped with a mask, coveralls, gloves, and goggles for an affordable price. If you're serious about taking the same precautionary measures as our servicemen and women, and you're serious about prepping for the worst, then you must consider investing in this potentially life-saving equipment. With an affordable price for everyone, Prepper's Peak introduces the ultimate safety suit, which includes a medical grade P100 particulate respirator, bound seamed coveralls, chemical splash safety goggles, and flock lined green nitrile gloves which heavily reduces the risk from dangerous viruses. Prepare now, and at the very least, you'll have the peace of mind of knowing you're ready. Just go to survivewithdronetech.com. That's survivewithdronetech.com. Hilariously, I stumbled on this fact check from factcheck.org, which is probably the rationale that the media is using to ignore this story. Just look at how they rationalize Cuomo not stocking up on ventilators after the quote, ventilator allocation guidelines were published. To sum it up, while the task force report did highlight a shortage of ventilators in the event of severe influenza pandemic, it did not recommend whether the state should buy more ventilators and hire the staff necessary to operate them. Yeah, because why would you want to order more ventilators when your study finds that you're going to have a shortage of ventilators? That's just a big Trump lie. Trump lied because the report didn't actually come out and say, go buy more ventilators. This isn't fact checking. They're just offering up excuses and deflections in defense of Andrew Cuomo. The report found that they were going to have a shortage of ventilators during a pandemic like this, but since it didn't come right out and say, go buy ventilators, somehow Andrew Cuomo's off the hook. I'm sure that Chris Cuomo gets into all of this during the interview, right? He's saying that somebody's stealing this PPE stuff or that something's being done with it that is wrong, which is the implication is I'm doing the right thing. I'm getting them the right things in New York. I don't know what they're doing with them. That I, my response is, first of all, if I say I, I don't know what he means, you can't tell me that, yes, I do know what he means. You might well, think what do you think he could? What do you think he could you, mean other than that? Wrong. Instead, Chris references Trump's comments that Andrew has been getting thousands of ventilators, but has been hiding them away instead of deploying them. Andrew Cuomo's response is that he's just storing them away until they're needed, but he's never mentioned these ventilators before, so that response is suspect.
Plus, why would you want to wait until they're out of ventilators and everything's chaotic before you decide to deploy them? Get them deployed now so that they're ready when you need them. But back to this sham of an interview. Just take notice at how Chris presses his brother on this question of what do you think Trump meant? It's an utterly pointless question, but it allows Chris Cuomo to appear as if he's being tough on his brother and being a real journalist. It could be, yeah, I don't know. It's a very vague thing. It went out the back door. I don't know. What do you mean it went out means? the back door? What is it, a stray uh, cat? What do you, it didn't go out the back door. He's saying it somebody's taking something. I don't know something. what it is. Maybe it's the, the door. Well, maybe that's what he means, but I don't know. It's a very vague reference. What in the world are they talking about? Back doors and stray cats? It's almost as if they're trying to muddy the waters on this issue. Really, just look. Trump found out that Cuomo was hoarding these ventilators while he's screaming about this ventilator crisis. A crisis that he was warned about back in 2015, and he chose to do nothing. Now, he and his brother are trying to confuse the issue to the point that anybody viewing just glazes over. Let me ask you something. Uh, with all of this adulation that you're getting for doing your job, are you thinking about running for president? Tell the audience. No. No. No, you won't answer? No, I answered. The answer is no. No, you're not question. thinking about Sometimes it? Sometimes it's one word. I said no. Have no. you thought about it? Are you open to thinking about it? No. Might you think about it at some point? No. I know what I might think about and what I won't think about. But you're a great interviewer, by the way. Appreciate it. Learn from the best. The point is this. What do you think of him trying to play you against Biden? What a hard-hitting interview this is. He's practically begging him to run for president as they congratulate each other for how awesome they think they are. If the media was the least bit consistent or principled, they'd be hammering away at Andrew Cuomo. But they're already looking for him to replace Joe Biden as a Democrat candidate. Back when this was all getting started, it was New York City officials that were telling people to go to parades and ride subways. Their health commissioner told people not to worry about it and get ready to party for the Chinese New Year. The truth is, nobody was really taking this seriously back in January, February, and up until the end of March. Look, I'd like for all these people to stop playing politics come together and deal with this situation as this outbreak potentially gets worse they're just going to become more and more unhinged and that's what really worries me just watch the beginning of the original dawn of the dead to see what i'm talking about i hope that's not what we're watching right now that's all for this episode please hit that like button share and subscribe if you do subscribe make sure to hit that notification bell as well i doubt you'll see any of my new content otherwise if you agree with my mission and you'd like to support this channel you can do so on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.